Since 2007, for the first time in history, more people live in cities than in rural areas. Cities consume 75% of Earth's resources and account for 60 to 80% of global greenhouse gas emissions, and they're growing by the second. By 2050, more than two-thirds of the world's population will live in cities. Limits to Earth's resources challenge the ability of cities to accommodate this growth. At the rate at which humanity consumes today, we would require the equivalent of 1.6 Earths to continue to meet our resource needs and absorb our wastes. But we only have one. To live within the planet's boundaries and improve quality of life for the poor, we need to achieve more with less. Cities must supply services in ways that are resource efficient, climate friendly, resilient and equitable. Urban metabolism studies help us to understand what happens to resources in a city between their points of entry and their exit from the city as wastes. By viewing the city as an organism that consumes resources and produces wastes, we can find ways to improve resource use and reduce environmental impact. Many cities have what is called a linear metabolism, where the vast majority of resources that enter the city leave it again as solid, liquid and airborne wastes. The key to a sustainable, resilient city is to harness these wastes as resources. This results in resource flow loops and a circular metabolism. For example, wastewater treatment plants can go beyond cleaning water to capture methane for energy and nutrients to enrich the soil. Recirculating these resources within the city can reduce resource imports and wastes. Urban metabolism studies can be used to identify appropriate infrastructure and planning interventions that will save resources. This not only saves the city money in the long run, but can also help to reduce emissions of greenhouse gases like CO2 and methane. City stakeholders can lead the way by monitoring their resource use, learning from similar cities, educating decision makers about infrastructure alternatives and improving resource efficiency in their buildings and operations. To learn how to better manage resources in your city, visit www.resourceefficientcities.org.